Hey guys, hi, what is going on? What is going on out there today? It is uh, Brent Abel here, webtennis.com, broadcasting from uh, Northern California. Cold, blustery, a little wet, windy. Not great tennis weather out here this morning. Might clear up later today, but uh, I'm up here with my three daughters hanging out for the weekend and uh, looking forward to a nice little couple of hikes this weekend. Guys, hope you're doing well so far, uh, wherever you are. And today, what we're going to look at is um, I've got a, a point that I think you've seen before, but there's something I really want to kind of emphasize that we talked about, I, I think about a week ago, in terms of when you are um, in doubles, right? When you've got to cover most of the court, and I'm, I'm, I'm going to get into that here in just a sec. Before we do that, um, a couple things. Number one is down below in the description area, there is a link down there. Take you over to webtennis.com where you can pick up my free top spin second serve course. So if you're throwing in too many double faults or maybe you're throwing in that second serve, but it's just sitting up for that, uh, that returner uh, and letting them take advantage, I want to help you generate some more power on that, on that top spin second serve. Let's get some more racket speed, some more natural racket speed without having to be super strong. I can show you how to do that and more racket speed. Obviously, you get more power, but you create a much higher quality spin that really solves your two problems, right? Number one, getting the ball safely over the top of the net. But number two, that nice spin that brings it back down inside the service line and has a bounce to it, right? Maybe even a little bit of a kick to it. So that link, again, it's about a 20-minute uh, course. Uh, it's, it's free, no charge on me. It is down below in the, uh, in the description area. Uh, with that said, guys, let's get to it in... I believe that you guys have seen this point before. If not, um, if not, if not. Okay. Uh, second serve coming up here. Yours truly with the serve. Chris Morgan, my partner. Paul Wolf with the lob return. His partner is Lenny Wofford. And um, so I'm going to pause this at just one second here. And I'm going to ask you if you are Len Wofford which is going to be right about here. Which shot would, I think it's this shot. Dang it, is it? Yeah, no. Uh, yes, it is. What shot would you play? And, you know, hold on for a sec here. Hold on for a sec. It's not this shot. It's, it's coming up. Here we go. Here we go. It's this shot right here, right? So if you're Lenny, if you're Lenny, you know, you can be thinking about what shot would you play? You've already played a lob, you know, you've already played a drive at Chris. You've already, you know, done whatever. What's, what's your next, you know, what you're thinking about, about this shot here? Well, for us, we're kind of Chris and I are both thinking, okay, we got to try to get in the Lenny's head in terms of core position, right? We talked recently about the 80, 20, 100 rule. And that is, can Chris and I cover? 80% of our court, giving Len 20% is really, he's going to have to thread the needle up the line. He's going to have to go cross. He's going to have to go down the middle, or maybe he's going to roll one here into this alley, right? So those are pretty slim margins. And, and the hundred is, can Chris and I cover 80% of the court, a hundred percent of the time and force, force our opponents into trying to go for that, for those slim margins. And so, Part of this 80% is when you guys, right? I'm talking about Chris and, and me. When you guys are both up at net, um, the person, in this case, Chris, who is directly in front of the ball, he needs to be at least, at least in the middle of his service box, kind of depending on where the ball is here. But the ball's directly in front of him, right? Well, for me, the ball is on the diagonal. And I got to be a little bit behind Chris because, as we mentioned, um, I don't know, 10 days ago in, in one of our What's the Right Shot episodes, there's a moment in time when you're cross-court from the ball. In this case, this is me. You've actually got to cover most of the court, right? You've got to cover the deep lob because you want your partner not, not back here in the service line because that actually geometrically opens up the middle a ton. But what you want is your partner here, and you're going to have to cover over that deep lob. I'm sorry, anyone who says, hey, partner, you got to cover all the lobs on your half of the court. 
let's be realistic. It doesn't work that way, right? So I'm slightly behind Chris. We're not on the same parallel, right? He's 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 actually in front of me a little bit. I've already he knows, man. And anything he can pick off, um, obviously he's going to pick off something here in the alley right at him. But if there's something in the middle that he feels that he can get close enough to, he's got he's got free reign to go ahead and pick that up. I got his back covered with the lob. I've also got to cover the middle because if this if if Lenny hits a drive in here that Chris cannot get to as kind of our first line of defense, then I got to be able to back him up. And also I've got to be able to cover the roller over here. So you could say that this player who's cross court on the diagonal from the ball at this moment has got to cover about 70% of the court, right? So let's see what Lenny does. Lenny takes this and I think he plays a smart shot, right? He drives it. He drives the forehand beautiful looking swing, by the way, into the middle, but it's past Chris. It's just too much. And, and like I said before, I've got to cover the middle if that ball gets by him. And so maybe I was looking for it. I don't know. Maybe I played against Lenny enough to kind of know that, that there's some little, there's some little, you know, giveaway here in his setup that I just have a, just got a hankering hunch that he's going in the middle. And uh, so I'm, I'm ready with the volley and now just going to try to take him out wide a little bit. And, and if nothing else, just try to play it deep. And I think you guys have seen what happens here is Chris just kind of cleans up, cleans it up. So, so guys, there you have it. Um, it's really this, this, this whole episode is about when both of you guys are up at net, what's the right core positioning for you. Again, if you're directly in front of the ball, then you're going to be, you're going to be in the middle of the service box. If not, maybe a step in front. If you're on the diagonal, you've got to hang back a little bit, right? You can't be, and we've seen this in uh, in other episodes where, you know, I had a lob opportunity here because my opponent was so tied in the net. the, The obvious shot was not a drive. The obvious shot was a lob. So, so there you go, right? Court positioning when both of you guys are up in net is absolutely is absolutely crucial. And boom. So guys, there you have it. Let's uh, let's stop the share and come on back. And hope that made sense, right? Um, court positioning is is you know as important in doubles um, as shot choice. And too often in, in in doubles, we make we make the wrong shot choice that in, that that kind of for a nanosecond or two, we're 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 in a lousy position. And you've always got to be considering uh, those two things on shot choice. Shot choice: where do I want the ball to land over there? How's that going to affect positively or negatively my next best court position? So, there's my lovely wife. Hey, babe. Good morning. Um, Thank you. Uh, All right, guys. So that's it for today. Fellas, fellas, Valentine's Day tomorrow. Don't you be forgetting that. Don't you be forgetting that stuff at all. No, no, no. Better make sure that, uh, you know, you take care of business. Guys, with that said, I'm done, man. Looking forward to a little hike this morning out uh, out there over in Moraga once the rain stops. But uh, as always, it is time. Get out there. Help someone else have a spectacular day. Guys, uh, we'll do this again tomorrow.